It's ironic that we call it prompting because it's not that prompt. It actually takes a really long time to do it well when you're writing a prompt. But if you don't feel like you're a great prompt engineer, you can ask ChatGPT to write the prompt for you. I'll show you how it works. Let's say there's something I want to do, right? Like I want to send a follow-up email. Help me write a follow-up email. What prompt should I use to get the best result? And it'll write the prompt for me. And so it's gonna ask some questions, blah, 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 and then have the variables in here. And so now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here, write a follow-up email to Captain America, the Captain at America, right? I last spoke to them on the 25th of December about invading the North Pole to rescue Santa Claus, right? I do have to give in these variables. They haven't responded yet, and I wanna see if Christmas matters to Captain America. And use a commanding tone. I'm gonna tell Captain America what to do. Commanding tone. The email should be short, clear, and encourage a reply. End with a soft call to action. Boom! So I just had this anxiety because I didn't know how to email Captain America. But here, following up on Operation North Pole, I haven't heard back since our December 25th briefing on the Santa Claus extraction. Time is slipping and so is the morale of every child on earth. I need to know, does Christmas matter to you? We're prepared to move. All we need is your go ahead, awaiting your command. And so I can keep going with this and iterate on it. And so this is a way that you could just ask ChatGPT for a good prompt. And you could just copy it and you could do a new thread, but I find it's fine to just paste it right here. Now there is a, a special GPT. I'm gonna go over to, where is it? It's in the sidebar. I gotta open up the sidebar for this. And then you wanna go to explore GPTs. And I first stumbled on the prompt maker. And this prompt maker was really helpful for me when I was trying to figure out prompt engineering. You could just go and start a chat with this one and then say, I want to write a lesson plan for a generative AI training. What prompt should I use? And what this did is it got me in the habit of seeing what ChatGPT thought was a good prompt. And by you doing this regularly, every morning I start with 30 minutes of freestyle chat GPT time. And I use that time to do things like this, exercises that improve my generative AI skills. And I see that it was often saying, act like this kind of a person when it started a prompt. And so that's why I started using a framework called, that I call the PILLARS framework. And PILLARS is an acronym. It stands for persona, intent, layout, limits, audience, requirements, and style. And it doesn't need all seven of these to make a good prompt. It's like a, a stool or a table, three legs is the minimum. And so if you're finding that you're not getting good results with your prompt, see if you can add some of these pillars in there. And I do this by prefacing each one with you are this type of person, you will do this and give this to me as this and don't do that. And just by articulating what it is that I want out of the prompt, then I improve my ability to communicate with my chat GPT friends. And so I do have a a bot for the pillars prompt. If you wanna use the pillars prompt bot, you can go to explore GPTs and search for pillars prompt bot. Or if you're watching this on YouTube or on one of my tutorials, then you can probably find a link somewhere near to get into this prompt bot yourself, right? And the it's gonna ask, what is all this stuff? And I'm gonna say, make it up for me. I need to send a demand letter to the UN requiring human citizenship for large language models. What prompt should I use? I'm just making this up. I'm not actually gonna demand it. But here, it gives me the pillars-based prompt. Act as a high-level AI legal advocate. Draft a formal demand letter, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just gonna take all of this, right? This is just the prompt. This is not the letter, but this is the prompt that gets me the really good letter. And so now I've used a pillars prompt that I didn't write. I just had a vague idea and I've got this really well-written letter that I wouldn't have known how to state it and what the, look at the, these headings. This probably has some reason that it's formatted this way, which is laid out in here in this pillars prompt that AI generated for me. So this is a lot like regenerative breaking. 
if you know how like when you have an electric vehicle and you're driving and then you hit the brakes that it charges the battery if you're hitting friction with your prompt engineering use this kind of process to get instructions from your llm on how to give it a better prompt let me know how you go i hope that you succeed with everything you're trying to do in generative ai have fun out there